This morning, a new administration is in the works. Former President Trump will return to the White House with support from at least one Chamber of Congress and a list of priorities. The country's deep division on full display when Vice President Harris addressed the nation at her alma mater of Howard University and conceded. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, not what we fought for, not what we voted for, but hear me when I say, hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright. As long as we never give up and as long as we keep fighting. Before delivering her remarks, Harris said she called Trump to congratulate him. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. A spokesman for the president-elect saying Trump acknowledged Vice President Harris on her strength, professionalism and tenacity throughout the campaign, adding both leaders agreed on the importance of unifying the country. Trump and his team are now tasked with filling about 4,000 government positions, 1,200 requiring Senate confirmation. Sources tell ABC News Trump is starting to vet potential candidates for his cabinet. Some meetings were attended by Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who dropped out of the presidential race and backed Trump and who Trump has vowed will have control of the public health system. Sources also say Trump is preparing a list of executive actions he could take on day one. He has pledged to bring down inflation, impose tariffs on foreign goods, and conduct the largest mass deportation in American history. And every citizen, I will fight for you, for your family and your future. President Biden has spoken with Harris and Trump and has remarks scheduled for later today from the Rose Garden at 11 a.m. Eastern. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.